Got the FT eight five seventy Yesu. So uh, just trying a Mars mod. So here we go. What I've managed to do is just using a conductive pen. Uh, form the bridges that were required. So uh, I've got uh, bridge, 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 because that one already had the resistor there. Open, open, bridge, open, open, open. This was the Euro model, so the third from the end here also had a resistor. I had to remove that. The US model has a different combination of the bridges with the resistor. But I think virtually all of them, if you end up with this result, you do the full Mars mod. So in this order, you bridge, 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 open, open, bridge, open, open, open. And it is numbered, as you can see here, on the, sorry, out there on the board. So um, from right, let me get my finger, where's my finger? I can't see it. From right. To left, its technical numbers is three, two, one, six, five, four, nine, eight, seven. So, uh, so looking at those numbers, you could say you you need one, two, and three open, and you need four and five open, and six closed, and you need seven closed, eight open and nine closed. Wish me luck. So once you've got the cover on and all back together, the next important thing to do is locate the um, this button here on the top side. It's V slash M. And locate the function button here. And make sure you've got the VM and function button depressed whilst you then depress the power on off button so whilst these are held down the vm and the function button you also hold down the power button it will start up and give you a blank screen you'll hear some beeps and then it's done a complete reset but then now it's in the unlocked mode i'll just point out a few more things about that so Although it's unlocked, if you're like uh, the amateur band for 160 meters starts at 1.8, if you're down below that, it still will not unlock down there. So that's one thing to note. Now, at 3.5, of course, that's the uh, 80 meter amateur band, it does transmit. If I go below, 3.5 it would normally not transmit it does transmit um, let's see I'll just uh, I'll, I'll fly out of band I'll go down so it would transmit of course in the 7 megahertz you know 40 meter band if we go below it it would not transmit so I'll just uh, you can see it, it now transmits and of course transmits in band so that's all, all good and this happens through all of these uh, HF bands now it, now the um, aircraft band I do have an antenna connected to this at the moment but the aircraft band it will not let you transmit as you'll see so that's great. Um, now, as for two meters, it will. Uh, if you go outside, I'm outside of two meters, it will. So it does unlock the VHF side. I won't transmit at the moment because I've not got a dummy, lo dummy load, as you can tell, connected on that one. But I am running for the HF experiment. So I've just done there showing you. I am running through my dummy. So I've got dummy selected here on my ATU. So yeah, a complete success. It is possibly improper or uh, against um, some acts or rules, regulations or laws in your part of the world. So I'm not saying you should do this, but at the same time, it could be useful for some people. And I guess the only excuse for an amateur would be that 
if they heard a mayday call out of band, that would be the only time that they could transmit out of band. But it is generally, as, as far as I'm aware, in most countries, if not all, illegal to do that. So, but at least that shows you that it's easily doable. And, uh, and also, the great thing is, it doesn't unlock the um, AM broadcast band. But as you can see, the HF bands, apart from MF that's below 160 meters, it unlocks. 7-3, and thanks for watching.